Treatment of Gestational Diabetes Treatment of gestational diabetes should combine management and prevention, avoiding insulin as best. How to prevent gestational diabetes? What increases my chance of developing gestational diabetes? Your chance of developing gestational diabetes are higher if you are overweight, had gestational diabetes before, have a parent, brother, or sister with type 2 diabetes, are African American, American Indian, Asian American, Hispanic, Latina, or Pacific Islander American. Have prediabetes, meaning your blood glucose levels are higher than normal yet not high enough for a diagnosis of diabetes. Have a hormonal disorder called polycystic ovary syndrome, also known as PCOS. How to reduce the risk of gestational diabetes. If you are thinking about becoming pregnant and are overweight, you can lower your chance of developing gestational diabetes by losing extra weight. At the same time, increase exercise before pregnancy. Taking these steps can improve how your body uses insulin and help your blood glucose levels stay normal. Once you are pregnant, don't try to lose weight. You need to gain some weight for your baby to be healthy. However, gaining too much weight too quickly may increase your chance of developing gestational diabetes. Ask your doctor how much weight gain and physical activity during pregnancy are right for you. Good management will contribute to effective treatment of gestational diabetes. Many women with gestational diabetes can manage their blood glucose levels to greater than by following a healthy eating plan and being physically active. Some women also may need diabetes medicine. Follow a healthy eating plan. Your healthcare team will help you make a healthy eating plan with food choices that are good for you and your baby. The plan will help you know which foods to eat, how much to eat, and when to eat. Food choices, amounts, and timing are all important in keeping your blood glucose levels in your target range. When you're not eating enough or your blood glucose is too high, your body might make ketones. Meanwhile, ketones in your urine or blood mean your body is using fat for energy instead of glucose. Burning large amounts of fat instead of glucose can be harmful to your health and your baby's health. So, your doctor might recommend you test your urine or blood daily for ketones. Or when your blood glucose is above a certain level, such as 200. When your ketone levels are high, your doctor may suggest that you change the type or amount of food you eat. Or, you may need to change your meal or snack times. Be physically active. Physical activity can help you reach your target blood glucose levels. When your blood pressure or cholesterol levels are too high, being physically active can help you reach healthy levels. Physical activity can also relieve stress, strengthen your heart and bones, improve muscle strength, and keep your joints flexible. Moreover, being physically active will also help lower your chances of having type 2 diabetes in the future. Talk with your healthcare team about what activities are best for you during your pregnancy. Aim for 30 minutes of activity 5 days of the week, even if you weren't active before your pregnancy. If you are already active, tell your doctor what you do. Ask your doctor if you may continue some higher intensity activities, such as lifting weights or jogging. Your blood sugar level hits the target. Your healthcare team may ask you to use a blood glucose meter to check your blood glucose levels. This device uses a small drop of blood from your finger to measure your blood glucose level. Your healthcare team can show you how to use your meter. Recommended daily target blood glucose levels for most women with gestational diabetes are Before meals, at bedtime, and overnight, 95 or less. One hour after eating, 140 or less. Two hours after eating, 120 or less. Ask your doctor what targets are right for you. Also, you can use an electronic blood glucose tracking system on your computer or mobile device. Record the results every time you check your blood glucose. Your blood glucose records can help you and your healthcare team decide whether your diabetes care plan is working. Take your tracker with you when you visit your healthcare team. Treatment of gestational diabetes. When following your eating plan and being physically active aren't enough. To keep your blood glucose levels in your target range, you may need insulin. If you need to use insulin, your healthcare team will show you how to give yourself insulin shots. Insulin will not harm your baby and is usually the first choice of diabetes medicine for gestational diabetes. 
Researchers are studying the safety of the diabetes pills metformin and gliburide during pregnancy. But more long-term studies are needed. You can watch a video of the story of fighting diabetes naturally without resorting to drugs and insulin. Link in the description. Talk with your healthcare professional about what treatment is right for you. Treatment of gestational diabetes after giving birth. After I have my baby, how can I find out whether I have diabetes? You should get tested for diabetes no later than 12 weeks after your baby is born. When your blood glucose is still high, you may have type 2 diabetes. Even if your blood glucose is normal, you still have a greater chance of developing type 2 diabetes in the future. Therefore, you should be tested for diabetes every 3 years. Prevent or delay type 2 diabetes later in life. You can do a lot to prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. Here are steps you should take if you had gestational diabetes. Be more active and make healthy food choices to get back to a healthy weight. Breastfeed your baby. Breastfeeding gives your baby the right balance of nutrients and helps you burn calories. When your test results show that you could get diabetes and you are overweight. Ask your doctor about what changes you can make to lose weight and for help in making them. You can learn the story of fighting diabetes naturally without the use of drugs and insulin. Link in the description. Note. Diabetes is a dangerous disease with many complications related to the kidneys, heart, liver and causes many serious health effects. Understand the causes and prevention of the disease so that you can promptly treat the signs and symptoms of the disease. The purpose is to solve your problem. So be open and ready to experiment. At the same time, choose your strategy, take action and start enjoying the benefits. Reference. Diabetes Freedom, 2 Months Free Solution. Or visit 247naturalhealth.com to all chronic illness information. Link in the description. In particular, if you know Qigong and its miraculous improvements to health, visit falandafa.org. Thank you, I hope you are always happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.